where we'll provide you with the latest tips and tricks for maximizing your productivity. In today's video, we'll be exploring the plugin registration tool and its new designer feature for creating custom APIs. If you're interested in connecting using the plugin registration tool and learning how to create your own custom API, you are in the right place. Let's get started. The first step is to download the plugin registration tool. Once you have it downloaded, go ahead and click on the plugin registration.exe file to open the tool. Now that you have the plugin registration tool open, let's proceed to create the new connection. Click on the create new connection button to establish a connection with your instance. After clicking on create new connection, make sure to select Office 365 as your desired connection type. If you're using a Microsoft account, different from the one you're currently using. Click on show advanced and enter your credentials. Otherwise, you can leave sign in as current user selected. In case your Microsoft account provides access to multiple environments, select the option display list of available organization to choose the organization you want to connect to. Once you've made your selection, click on login to proceed with the connection. If you select the display list of available organization, now it's it's time to select the organization you want to connect to. Simply choose the organization and click on login. Great. Now that you are connected, you will see any existing registered plugins, custom workflow activities, and data providers. Take a moment to explore the options available to you. Let's move on to creating a custom API using the plugin registration tool. In the register menu, select the register new custom API command. This will open a form where you can create your own custom API. A custom API can have request parameters that define the inputs required for the API. To add request parameters, click on the plus add request parameter button while creating or editing a custom API. This will open a parameter form where you can specify the details. Similarly, you can add response properties to your custom API. These properties define the outputs returned by the API. To add response properties, click, click on the add response parameter button while creating or editing the custom API. This will open the parameter form for response properties. It's essential to be able to manage and view your custom API efficiently. To view a list of custom APIs, navigate to the view menu and select the display by message command. If you need to delete a custom API, simply locate it in the list of custom APIs and click on the unregister command. Alternatively, you can right click on the item and select unregister from the context menu. Now, if you want to make changes to your existing custom API, such as modifying the request parameters or response properties, you can easily do so. In the list of request parameters or response properties, select the column you want to edit. Similarly, if you wish to delete any request parameters or response properties, select the respective column and click on the delete option. If you have set is private property for your custom API, you can retrieve the service definition for the CSDL metadata, metadata document using a GET request even from your browser. Simply type the URL in your browser's address field to retrieve the metadata. Once you have the metadata document, search for the name of your custom API. You will also find the action or function associated with it, along with any related complex type that represents the return value. Even if you haven't set a plugin for your custom API, you can still test it to verify its signature. However, please note that any response properties will return their default values because there is no plugin assigned to set the value. If you add to add a plugin, you must write and register the plugin. Afterward, you can update your custom API to specify the assembly and plugin that will run in response to your custom API. Once you have set up your custom API, API and assigned a plugin to it, you can test it out using tools like Postman. Let's run through a test. As you can see from the results, I have tested it and it has given me a response with what I've passed in the body. And that's it for today's video on using the plugin registration tool to create custom APIs. We hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you are now equipped to create your own custom APIs effortlessly. If you have any questions or need further assistance, 
assistance please feel free to leave your comments below don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video